What's up, everybody? We're back with more Dolce Challenger, where I'm yeah. not involved. That's true. Yeah. Scott's champion. I'm challenging. And we're going in a game called Rise of Mythos. This is an old Congregate game that Scott and I used to play all the time as like a co-op thing. Yeah, so Scott and James are going to take the helm and be the majority of your action here because I've never played this game. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I, I really didn't see this one coming. This is very unexpected, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's it's a tactics game, so I feel like Scott's actually got a better advantage than I should be giving him. But I figured this was something that we should do. This is a big part of both of our back in the day. And I will say that the advantage he has here is obviously I had to know we were doing this at the time to, to log in and everything. But um, I, I haven't custom built a new deck and I haven't played this in like close to a year. So I literally just picked which of my already built decks seemed most appropriate and I'm just going to run with it. Rise of, Rise of Mythos is a uh, card game that is also a lane battle game. So you'll see it when we get in there. Okay, we're finally here. I got the setup correctly this time. I'm a genius. Yeah. Oh, oh man. There we okay. go. Oh, I don't know if I like that starting hand. The starting hand looks good to me, but I have no idea what uh, the starting hand is that's good. Uh, that's keep. a good model. Oh, oh, it gave me oh. another one anyway. Okay. Ooh. Okay. First of all, I want to switch this to. No, 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 no. I have Whoa. Whoa. That's automatic. You're using you know, that guy. As okay. far as the cards are concerned, I can sort of discern some things based on my knowledge of trading card games in general, but. Them moving across the screen and stuff, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, they move across the screen automatically and attack whatever they see in front of them. Essentially. So, the way this works is your cards in hand there. The top left-hand corner is how many turns you have to have that card in your hand in order to be able to actually play the card. It'll count. That number will count down one point per turn. And then when that hits zero, you can, you can play the card. Uh, bottom left is how much damage it does when it attacks. Bottom right is how much health the creature has. When it's on the field, the two numbers are, again, power and toughness side by side. And then each creature does something different. Um, I'm going to need you to just stop doing what you're doing. No! Stop it! With your magic. So I'm petrify that thing so it can't move. Or do anything. It gets it a lot of health, but it can't act for like ten turns. Also, that guy that I've got in Scott's face, that's basically going to murder him in a few turns at this point. Yeah, So I hope he's got something. I, I have more defensive decks that are specifically structured for PvP, but I picked one that was more mm -hmm. generically representative of the kind of play style that I use. Yeah, and I probably should have gone with the strictly PvP deck. I forget, do you like best two out of three, or...? It seems like this is going to be over pretty quick. Uh, depends on how quick this is, I suppose. I, I have no idea say. what's going on. I just see like pretty lights and colors and like things are glowy and yeah. oh my god, look at that. Yeah, so uh, units that are epic rank, they get a glowy thing under their feet. You can only have one copy of that on the field at a time. Um, but it's literally just reduce your opponent's life total as fast as possible. Scott's there with 15 health left, but there's a creature that's hitting him for now 7 damage every turn, right in his face. And continuing to increase, increase each that's turn, what yes. he does. Uh, and I'm, I have a bit of a control -y deck that's designed to not let Scott do the things he wants to do. So unless he's got something crazy set up here, he does not have... And I don't. Just gonna bam. Well, all right. Good thing this is a best two out of three because that wasn't nearly long enough. Yeah, correct, yeah that correct. was. Did you want to do? Oh, you I, can actually, change your deck. On, hold on. Change yeah, deck. let me let me change decks. Yep. I so clearly we'll I need to take it a little more seriously. We'll, yep. We will do this best two out of three. He's gonna show you where he PVPs. Alright, this is, this is an actual PvP deck that I used to use competitively, and Perfect. granted it's very out of date, and probably still won't do fantastic here, but... Yeah, it's all good. I mean, we'll see. 
I'm gonna try. So right off the bat, again, you can see our life totals there. Ooh, okay. I got the dragon. So if you've played anything like Hearthstone, different creatures have different abilities and things that they can they can do. Um, he's gonna hit me pretty hard. I don't like that guy. Yeah, for a one drop, he's pretty tough. Um, so like he that creature's got the dragon there's got flying, so it can go over enemy units. Normally, a unit moves two spaces per turn, and then as long as it's within two spaces of something, it can just murder a thing. I it wish I had a response things. to that cavalry, but I didn't. I'm just gonna stop that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And now I've got things in his face again. Uh, the the cat with the glowy thing under her feet—that's Mizuna. Her whole thing is she moves really, really far the first time she comes out. And then does double damage the first time she hits, and now she's just there. Whereas the horse guy that's there, the cavalry unit, he's going to do more damage every turn. And just get stronger and stronger every turn. Uh, units in this game do have a percent chance to crit and do double damage. It's pretty low, but it's based on your 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 stats. There's all sorts of things you can do to level things up. Ow! I'm gonna need you to stop that. No. No, I'd rather not. So. I have no idea what's going on, but based on the very limited knowledge that I've learned from watching this for about four minutes, it looks like you guys are just racing for the face. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's. My decks are usually very much race for the face. Uh, if I hadn't been able to get those two units in the front, I would have been able to. I would have wanted to set up more defensive things, um, like this guy's here for defense. <coughs> oh man, look at that hammer! That's a strong hammer. And sh this character can attack backwards, so she can help defend against. Yeah, those unfortunately, things. I just barely not going to have enough time though. So yeah. Oh, that okay. that one was actually close though. Yes, you got me down that to was two health. That very time. close. But unfortunately, Scott falls. He does. Yep. Ah, oh, <laughs> only I'd used that deck the first time. Yeah, I know, right? So uh, that was the thing that happened. I could very barely follow along what was going on. I'm not familiar with this game. Things happened. It looked night. 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 So, Rise of Mythos is basically a mobile game, just on the PC. It's on Congregate, so it's an old flashy flash game. It was a lot of fun back in the day, but it's a little pay to win nowadays. It's a lot pay to win yeah, nowadays. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very pay -to -win much so. Nowadays. But Scott and I paid roughly the same, which was barely more than zero. <laughs> so, we were, we were relatively even. But not zero. <laughs> yeah, not you zero. know. <laughs> we, we, paid, we played this a lot. Yeah. All right, so this was my World of Warcraft, basically. <laughs> so next time, uh, I believe it is you versus Joe. Dun dun dun! I'm gonna do better this time, I promise. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.